Okay, so now that we've built the WhatsApp UI, so the shell of the application, what we want to do now is create a database so we can handle all of the chat data and the user data in there. So we'll be using Firestore DB for this. So if we go into firebase.google.com and then click get started, in here, what I want to do is create a ad project. And this is going to be Next.js 13 WhatsApp. And then all we do is click continue. We can enable an analytics if you want to, and then click continue again, create your project. So this is going to be creating the project now. So whilst that is creating the project, what I want to do is create a folder in our project. So in our next project in here, we have a lib folder that we created earlier. So in here, I'm going to create a folder called Firebase. So this is where all of the config and everything will go. And in Firebase, I'm going to create a new file called index.ts. And now if we go back into the browser, the new project is ready. So let's click continue. So on the left hand side, there's quite a lot of applications that we could use on products. So if we go into the build section here, we have the authentication, which we will use, the app check, which we will use, the Firestore database, and also the storage as well you can use. So if we click on web here, and what I'm going to do is click also set a Firebase hosting, and this is just going to be called WhatsApp, and I'm going to register my app now. So now there's a few instructions in here that you need to do. So first of all, npm install Firebase. So let's go ahead and do that and also copy this as well. So in my folder in Firebase, I've got an index.ts and I'm going to paste in what I've just copied across. So all of these with my Firebase config in here. So I will delete this, so please don't copy it. But essentially it's whatever you create in your Firebase project that will get pasted into here. And we also have analytics, but I'm just going to delete the analytics because we're not be going to be using that. So now all we need to do is yarn add Firebase because we need to import the relevant dependencies from Firebase. So this, this red error will go away here once it's installed. Okay, so now that we've installed Firebase, the error has gone away, so that's fine. What we also need to do is export the app. So I'm going to export the app like so. And if I save, we have now configured and connected Firebase to our Next.js application. So if we go back into here, we've copied that section, we now need to click next. This is a step I've already done, but you need to install the Firebase CLI tools on your global machine. So you can copy that and paste that in to your terminal. That will install Firebase tools for you. But I've already done that step. And then if you want to deploy at the end, you can do it this way as well, but we will skip this step for now. So if you click continue to console, we have now set up and connected the Firebase app to our Next.js app. What I want to do is click onto Firestore database. So this is the database that we will be using. And then I'm just going to create the database. So first of all, what I want to do is start in test mode. So the only difference between production and test is the security rules in here. So essentially, if you notice the difference, you can allow read, write, if false, and so on. You can add and configure your security rules and the same here. But test mode essentially means that you can allow multiple users or anyone to kind of make queries to your Firestore database, which is what we will be using. So click next. And then you can only change this once right now, which is the region that you're closest to. So in my case, it would be Europe, but after that, you can't change the region. So please ensure you choose the correct one closest to yourself. And then you click enable. So now that is provisioning the Firestore, setting it up for you. So your database will be ready to go. So now we have our first Firestore database set up. What I also want to do is on the build section, I want to go into authentication. And in here, we want to get started. So we will be using Google login functionality in here. So all you do is click Google in here and click enable. And then the project name is Next.js 15 WhatsApp. Like so. And then you just click the support email. So in this case, it will be this one, which is the email you logged into on Firebase. So click save. So now we have enabled Google functionality in here. And we will be connecting this also to our Firestore database and using the Google details in our application on WhatsApp. So what we will be doing is using Firebase version nine. So we've connected that and everything's working on here. We now need to go into our app over here. 
And what I'm going to do is create a Google provider. So const Google provider or Google provider like so, which is equal to new Google auth provider. And we just need to import this in at the top. So import Google auth provider from Firebase auth. So Firebase version nine uses tree shaking functionality. So essentially we're branching off from Firebase as a whole. Before we used to import Firebase and everything from Firebase when we didn't need it. So now we're just importing Google Auth provider from Firebase Auth. And then we have that here and we also need to export that in here. And we also need to have authentication. So it'll be const auth is equal to get auth. So get the authentication like so. And that's imported also from Firebase Auth. And now we just need to finally export the auth as well. Now, if we save, that is the Firebase initial setup complete. What I now want to do next is create the login page. And we will do that in the app router next.